Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at a few C7 low voltage contractor license exam questions. A low voltage contractor needs to wire 25 offices with CAT6 voice and data. The distance between the IT room and the offices is an average of 250 feet. How many 1000 foot boxes of cable will the contractor need? The correct answer is 13. Which wire should be used to cross-connect a standard telephone connection? The correct answer is 24 AWG solid. What type of jack should be used on a CAT6 cable installation? The correct answer is RJ45. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of information referenced on the C7 exam. Those were just a few of the thousands of possible questions that could come up. This is one of the more expansive trades offered by the CSLB. So there's a lot of different areas of expertise that you're going to be tested on. Obviously, job planning and design, interpreting plans and specifications, knowledge of the different tools and equipment and their applications, various you know satellite, CCTV, telephone, data, audio, video, fiber optic systems. You're really going to want to be familiar with a lot of the information covered on this test. As I said, there's thousands of possible questions. They're covering varying aspects of the trade, and a lot of them are going to be math related. 19% of the exam covers job planning and design. 18% covers material selection and estimation. 11% covers wiring and cable installation termination. 15% covers systems configuration and installation, 12% covers testing and project closeout, 8% covers system troubleshooting and or repair or replacement, and then of course 17% covers safety. Safety is always a huge part of these trade exams. What we've done is we've taken the most pertinent information that's going to be on the test. We've condensed it into summarized cliff note formats. You're getting specific information that we know is going to be on the test. It's presented in a clearly written way with examples and descriptions. This can come in the form of either physical or ebooks, study guides, uh, online practice tests, online lectures. We're going to help you with the mathematics so that you're able to answer those mathematics questions quickly and effectively. And then, of course, you get an application review to make sure that your application is filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. Now, there's two other videos you're definitely going to want to watch. We've got one that goes a lot deeper into the exam, specifically on the law side. Also, where you take the test, what the process looks like, retakes, and a lot of just really important information um, also covering uh, the C7 trade. You're definitely going to want to check that out. And then we've got another video that goes a lot deeper into the requirements for the C7 license. So how do you fill out your certification of work experience? Um, the, what the process looks like filling out the application correctly? Um, criminal record. There's a lot of really important information in both of those videos. You definitely want to check them out. If you're interested in our C7 crash course, you can find that in the links below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Any questions that you have, drop them in the comments below. Hope you found this video helpful. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.